Hey everyone. So, um, we're way away from home right now, still in Montana, and I'm investigating something. There might be something here, there might not be anything here, but I'm, I need to find out. I spent some time uh, doing some research on some geological maps and then cross-referenced those with public lands, and um, yeah, I'm hopeful. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what, because yeah, if we don't find anything, you'll never see this video. If we do find something, then I will I will obviously tell you what we're looking for. But yeah, so I'm gonna do some exploring. I'll see you in a minute. All right, so that was unsuccessful. There was not what I thought was over there. Definitely the right area, right exposures, but it was the wrong kind of rock that was exposed in that area. So we're gonna have to go back and do some more searching. In the meantime though, we have come to a new location where I know we can find stuff and I'm excited because there's some really, really, really cool agates around here. You can see that's calcedony all over that rock. That's pretty cool. All right, let's hope for some agates. All right, that's our first thing to get excited about. That is amygdaloidal basalt and it's going to be beautiful. Every one of those little white spots is actually a pocket of calcedony and they look amazing when you cut them. I love them so very, very, very much. Oh, oh there's. Dante swimming already, of course. Our be our first agate. Ooh, look how blue that is. <laughs> that is pretty. Oh, hey, it, it got bigger. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are nice. They have really, really fine lacy banding when you cut them. I just love that blue color. They're so pretty. This is either a good agate or a seam of agate on top of basalt. Let's see here. <laughs> Looks like it's mostly basalt, but it's actually, it opens up quite a bit back here. It might be worth cutting. That's pretty cool. I think I'll keep it. It could be pretty if we cut it right. I don't think it is, but it's always worth investigating. That is a strange rock. What the heck? <laughs> that is a very strange rock. Oh, it is. Yeah, wow, that's actually mostly quartz. There's a little bit of chalcedony in there, but it's mostly quartz and there's actually like a little crystal pocket. Let me get this wetter, more wetter. -er. No, that's pretty cool, I like that. That's awesome. Did you find a good one, Alexis? I don't know. Let's look. Well, I just found this on the ground next to you. I don't know what that is. Oh, <laughs> you're so cute. Yeah, that one's more churdy, but it's still really pretty. That one might be a good cutter. Oh, wow. So, it's that, and then... Ooh, that might be a pretty decent sized pocket. I don't know, it's really good. The rock's really heavy. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. It's exciting regardless, but... Hmm. Hi, Dante. It's all amygdaloidally. See all that? Those are all little agate pockets surrounding the big agate pocket. I don't know how deep that goes is my only concern. Let's leave it out somewhere where we'll remember it. Look at how blue this one Alexis just found is. That is really, really pretty. That's a good one. Oh, Alexis. That was really dirty. Yeah, it's like a oh, solid agate. <laughs> Alexis kills it when hunting these agates. She's really good at finding these agates. Thanks. Yeah, you know what? Not as crazy as the one gentleman brought us over at the Gem and Mineral show that was pure blue. That that thing was insane. Oh my gosh, yeah, that was mind-blowing. I, I honestly wish I had agate. taken a picture of that so I could show it up here. It was like a two-pound pure royal blue Montana agate. I love, love, love these agates so much. They're far less numerous than the ones on the Yellowstone. And typically much, much, well, not typically, they are much smaller on average. But they are just so cool and so different. They're so lacy and fine. I love them. They're really, really nice. They don't have like the thick solid banding like a Montana agate does. It's very, very subtle. And I think we have a nice one right here. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Solid all the way through. There's some pockets of uh, basalt, but other than that, yeah, that's a nice one. Also, we will be getting close-ups back to the shop, and also, we will certainly be cutting some when we get back to the shop. There's another nice little agate, I think. Yep. Ooh, look at the banding on that one. <laughs> that is cool. There's like a cool little fortification pocket banding. And then if you look inside of that, those are waterline bandings. Bandings. That's a weird wording I just did. I might tumble that one. They take a little longer than the Montana agates, just because they're not river-tumbled, but... 
they come out so nice. They take such a nice polish. For the most part, these are cabbing slash tumbling sized agates. They make beautiful cabochons and they tumble fantastically. But every now and then you get lucky and find a slabbing size. And they are so, so pretty. So very nice. We found a couple like three or four pounders over here, which is so weird because usually they're like this big and then randomly you'll just find a huge one. <laughs> okay, I think I see a good one right here maybe. Are you bigger too? Oh my gosh, that is in there. All right, there we go. Oh yeah, that's actually a good one. Again, there's a lot of basalt, but these ones actually look really, really interesting. Because sometimes you can use that basalt to your advantage. Because it's kind of a bluish tint naturally. But um, it's um, clearer. So if you make cabochons and leave some of that basalt on the backside, you can actually force the Tyndall effect. Okay, that's a good one. I can already tell. Wow, I don't even have to get that wet to know that that's a good one. Ooh, yeah, buddy. Look at the blue on that. Ooh, look at all the water lines and banding. That's gorgeous. Well, what are you right here? Oh, gosh. Oh, well, camera. Oh, my goodness. Uh, one sec. Look at this freaking rock. Water lines. Look at that little tendril sticking down. Druzy. That almost looks, one sec. Oh my goodness, that like looks plumy almost. Look at that. <laughs> what? I've never found one like this before. That's so cool. Pardon my crass language, but that's pretty neat. Look at this lumpy knobbly thing. That is solid agate. Look at that. Look at the way that one glows. <laughs> that's so cool. No basalt left on that one. It's completely eroded out. I think I spy a good one. See if you can see it. Can you see it? Ooh, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. What the heck? Oh, yeah. That is what I'm talking about right there. Look at that thing. That is solid all the way through. Beautiful color, there's banding. Looks like there's gonna be some nice spots in there. Oh my gosh. That is freaking awesome. That is exactly what I was hoping for. See, they're mostly like really little, but sometimes, sometimes, very out of place, you'll find a really big one. <laughs> it is always a good day. That is one noisy grasshopper snapping around in front of me. What, why are you coming closer? What the heck? All right. I'm sorry, jeez. Tell at a glance that this is gonna be some of that really nice petrified wood. Eh. Oh yeah. Looks like there's some chalcedony in there. Well, there's our first piece of the day. Man, it is so much hotter than it was supposed to be today and I'm dying because Alexis has all the water. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, she's the camel. We made that agreement because I carry all the rocks so she carries the hydration, which means when we split up, it's problematic. I think that might be another good one. Oh yeah. Oh heck yeah, look at that water line. Ooh, there's even another big clear pocket down under it. Heck yeah. Yeah, well that one's a keeper for sure. All right guys, that was a very productive first stop, but I think we're gonna go up to the next one. So, I'll see you in a moment, Alexis. No, I called I... you a camel. What? <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> you carry our water. <laughs> Alright guys, we're up to the next spot and I see two things that I want to investigate already. We've got this right here. Yeah, it's a pretty little seam, but I just saw where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. This right here. Oh wow, which is actually really nice. Look at all that quartz. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll keep that one. Man, you can see that blue from all the way over here. I found it. <laughs> Can't just call dibs on all of the rocks I find, Alexis. Oh yeah, that looks nice. <laughs> oh, it's even bigger. Ooh, that has some great banding. There's another chunk of petrified wood. Looks just drastically different than the stuff in the 
the Yellowstone drainages. All right, there's a good one right there. I think there might be one. And eh, no, that one's not great. But this one, oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a good one. It's so lacy. Okay, this spot might be better than I thought it was. Dang, that's awesome. Okay. Well, now I'm excited to get back to the shop and start cutting some of these. Alexis just found an awesome one. That is literally just a perfect agate nodule eroded out of the basalt. <laughs> when you see a megaloidal basalt and there's all the little bubbles of agate, that's literally what this is. Just completely unworn. It's light for its size, so that makes me think it's probably hollow. Hold well on. You might have found a geode, Alexis. Sweet. I'm pretty <laughs> stoked. Also, though, Theo got us meteorites. I did. I was going to show those later. And I got a fidget one. She did. <laughs> Because it wiggles. It wiggles. I'm very happy about our meteorites. Me too. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we had this backup plan. Because, yeah, I was going to be bummed. We went, this trip was actually not supposed to be for rock hunting. So, I mean, it's fine. This is just bonus and I'm happy about it. <laughs> We're actually going to meet up with Derek, the rock master, who was doing a talk at the Montana Learning Center. And, um, yeah, that was the whole point of the trip. So, this was just kind of a bonus. We did get to go down to Missouri, though, and I caught a nice trout, huh? Yeah. Here's pictures of the the canyon and the trout, and also me and Derek. <laughs> I think that's another good one. Yeah. Ooh, that one's actually got some moss in it. Look at that. They normally do not have dendrites, so that's actually really cool to see. Look at that. That's awesome. Well, we might have to cab that one. And here, while I have this camera out, I'll get a little clip of the other one, just so we can get closer. Look at the detail on that one. Those water lines and the bands, that's really nice. <laughs> Hi, Lloyd. There's a good one right there. Earth. Oh, wow, okay, it got bigger. Let's get you wet, all right. Oh, heck yeah. That's a nice one. Ooh, I see bands in there. That is so cool. Heck yeah. I love these so very much. They're so cool. <laughs> They're so subtle, but so unique at the same time. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for this one. Uh, we found some actually really, really nice stuff. Nicer than even I was expecting. So let's get back to the shop, get everything cleaned off, and we're going to cut a bunch of these. In the meantime, I have some fish I need to catch. So I'll be back, and I'll see you later. And also, stuff. All right, we are back to the shop. I have everything cleaned off and there are some, there's some really pretty stuff in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some of these rocks. All right, so here's what's on the chopping block. We've got two pieces of amygdaloidal basalt. We've got some little agates and we've got two big agates. Also excuse the very dusty, dirty mess that is my bench. The gem show is finally over, which means I can finally deep clean. I think let's start with these little ones. I honestly haven't decided if I wanna cut this one yet. It's kinda just weird. Most certainly is it an agate, but it's weird. See, most of them are like, you know, all of the ones that you saw throughout this video. They're really, 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 really transparent. Banded, but very transparent. Look at how root beer red this one is. It's bizarre. I've never seen one like that. That is so cool. So I don't know, I might cut that one, I haven't decided yet. Problem is, wait for it, here's the problem. Problem being, I don't have my trim saw. <laughs> It doesn't work anymore, I need to replace it. So all I have is my 14 inch slab saw, which obviously these are too small to clamp into. So I'm gonna have to cut them by hand on the slab saw, which is sketchy and I don't recommend it. You know what, while I'm doing this, I might as well just do all of them. So, playing with this one, we're gonna get crazy. Cutting it in half. Playing with this one, gonna get even crazier and I'm gonna cut it up the middle, see what we get. Might be cool, might be a dud, hard to say. Okay, they're done. I opted not to cut this one for now. So we got one result that I was pretty much expecting. We got one result I was not expecting. And then we got one result that was way better than I was expecting. So this one looks pretty much exactly how I was expecting it to. Nice nodule. There's some good bands in there. Really, really faint. They're very, very fine and delicate, which is why I like these so very much. They come out way more once you polish them, but oh my gosh. 
They're just so delicate. Then this one, I uh, found out why it weighed so much less than the other one. It's because, well, I was half right. <laughs> There's not a, a pocket, it's just completely filled with quartz. There's like a little tiny thin agate film over everything, and then the rest is just quartz. Which explains why it weighs less, because usually these agates are a little heavier. These seams can be hard to cut sometimes, because if you look, we've got some nice fortification bandings on that seam, but they always just come out so thin when they're little plates like this. So sometimes I like to cut it this way so that we can widen out the seam. I'm very happy I did with this. Check this out. There is so much fine banding in there. Look at that blue color too. That is just gorgeous. And it ends up being a much larger, much more workable piece than what we had originally. Because that would have, if we cut it face wise, it would have been a much, much, much smaller piece. Okay, so now let's cut the amygdala little basalt. I picked this one because there's a bunch of little agate nodules throughout the whole thing. And there's actually some big ones in there. So I'm hoping there might be some bigger ones on the inside. I don't know. First one is done and that came out freaking awesome. So check this out. Dark basalt, right? Wrong. Look at all of the agate goodness in there. Nice little banded pockets with some cords inside. There's one, I don't remember which side it's on, but there was one that had like an orbicular pattern almost. That's the first one. This pair right here is freaking awesome. Look at this, ready for it? Bam! <laughs> Check that out. So we've got like nice agate nodule with banding. Right next to it is more, and that one has cords in it. A bunch of little ones throughout the whole thing. And then we've got a perfect waterline agate right there. So I thought that was going to be the lesser of the two. Which makes me even more excited to cut this one. I think it's going to be real nice. Um, there's a ton of chalcedony throughout the whole thing. So yeah, uh, I think let's just get into it. One cool thing about this one is every one of those chalcedony pockets has a little ring of green around it. <laughs> so we might end up with way more color on this one too. Alright, and that one is done. Oh my gosh. Look at how pretty that is. It's like every one of those little pockets is just a beautiful micro agate. They all have banding. It's just really, really fine and they all have such a nice blue co color to them. Oh my gosh. I was only able to get one slab because it shifted. So I had to redo it. It wasn't gripping tight enough, but oh my gosh. Even the one slab, that's plenty. And I don't even think I'm gonna cut the rest of this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a face polish on this one because this is the rest of the rock. And look at how freaking pretty that is. Next and lastly would be our two big ones. And I'm sitting here and I'm studying this, trying to figure out the best way to cut it. And I just can't decide. And you know, sometimes, sometimes you need a rock to just sit on your bench and stare at you for a little while before you can make up your mind. So. I am not going to cut this one for now. In lieu of my indecisiveness, we have one left to cut, and that is our big one. And I just can't shake the feeling that this is going to be really, really nice. If you look, that thing has some wonderful bands. Really nice blue color. I don't, uh, I don't know which way. I, you know, what? Uh, probably just the face. Yeah, you know, I just made up my own mind. So, I guess I'm gonna stop jibber-jabbing and let's get littered up. It is done. It is really freaking pretty. Look at the color of that agate. It's so interesting. I love it. Get a light behind it. There is some really nice bands in there. That pocket in the middle is actually, wait for it calcite that has some rainbow pockets in it. How cool is that? <laughs> the slabs are gray and then some of them they have a natural like blue hue to it so the gray kind of, I don't know it almost looks like purpley on this one. I cut that one a bit thicker for that very reason but man that is so pretty. Look at how beautiful that agate is. I certainly do not regret cutting this one. That is so pretty. I hope my lighting is good enough but to get the color to come out accurately because this thing 
in person is so blue. It's so very blue. I love it so much. Debating on cutting it one more time this way, later, not today, or polishing the face and just leaving it alone. I'm kind of inclined to just leave it. Look how pretty that is. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for this one. I know the purpose of the trip was not to rock hunt and we were on limited time anyway, but I am very happy that we did manage to get a video out because, yeah, it's it's just more fun that way. Let me know which find was your favorite. Mine is absolutely big blue. Also, big news, um, Sunday, sorry, not tomorrow Sunday, but next Sunday, I am going to be doing my first live stream, which I'm very excited about. Uh, and because I've never done a live stream, for the first, like, I don't know, first little bit, we're probably just gonna hang out, chat, you know, just kind of exist together in the same space. But later on, I'm actually going to be doing a live sale where I am going to sell all of the stuff that didn't sell at the Gem Mineral Show. I figured it would be awesome to give you all first dibs on all of that stuff before it goes onto my store, which takes so long that it might be a while. <laughs> We've got rocks, slabs, fossils, uh, you know those iris pendants everyone was asking about? Yeah, we still have most of them. A uh, bunch of rings, um, crystals, yeah, a little bit of everything. So yeah, uh, I guess next Sunday, just be on the lookout. I don't have a time yet. I've never done a live, so <laughs> I don't know what time we're gonna be doing it at. But anyway, that is gonna do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time.